Welcome to Draw Detectives, where we solve a dumb mystery using even dumber drawings. I am Julia LaPetite, your host, also Jancy True, and I am joined by my friends, Nathan Yaffe as Grendon Highforge. I brought you all here today because there's a murder, and we're going to solve it. When did that happen? Oh, wait. Jacob Andrews as York. Uh, my whole pace got thrown off <laughs> by that weird intro. <laughs> and Karina as Rose. I brought you all here today <laughs> because there's been a murder. What? What? <laughs> when? Murder most foul. Murder most foul. No, the uh, the owl dude is still alive, so it's fine. Murder most owl. Murder most owl. Guys, this is the last episode, and I can't believe we're starting it off this way. What? <laughs> season finale, baby. It's the season finale of Draw Detective. Get ready for ups and downs and twists and turns. Yay. Yay. <laughs> uh, we don't have to do a recap, really. I mean, last episode we met <laughs> Lar Malasa, who had some info for you. But I feel like this episode's gonna be a recap in general. Mar Malasa. Marm. Mar Malasa. Mar Malasa. Mar Malasa. It's not a hard. It's not any more difficult a name to pronounce than any of the other names. It was very tempting to put in Paddington Bear into the previous episode for marmalade. Mar Mar Malasa. Mar Mar. <laughs> Marmalasa. That makes me think of like a mango lassi, but with marmalade. Yeah, it sounds delicious. <laughs> oh, does it? We should make does that. Does it? No, I yeah, hate it. I don't it. think. <laughs> it sounds delicious. Is it? I don't know if I've ever had marmalade. That's what I'm learning. It's just chunky jelly. Yeah. I don't like jelly. Or jam. Ooh, I don't like jam. Should we get into it? We're busy, Julia. Oh. No, we're we're designing we're a new to solve beverage. A mystery. <laughs> Design a new edible product. No, let's do it. I'm ready. I'm so ready. Okay. Children, I've brought you all here today <laughs> because there's been a murder. Murder most foul? A murder most foul. Yes, Grendon, extra points for you. But we already knew that. Jancy, what, that's what we've, we've been doing known here. There's been a murder for the past like twelve hours. I there was just something in me that wanted me to say this. It's awfully theatrical of you, Jancy, but we got to solve the crime. We do have to solve the crime. You are right. So why don't we talk about some of the theories you might all have about who who done it, who done who done the thing, who done the crime. I know exactly who did the crime. Oh, wow. Really? Don't say it was me. It was the knife. Uh, oh, God. I put together the clues. The knife had blood on it. Right. Yeah. And it was hidden. The knife did it. The knife stabbed Soren Justice. So the knife has sentience is what you're telling Close me? Close the case, but <laughs> I'm going home. The knife did it. <laughs> Bye, York. Bye. Goodbye, I'll see y'all. Let's hang out later. Yeah, I'm gonna miss you. All right, I'll see y'all later. I'm going. Okay, bye. You're welcome for solving the case. Bye. God, he's smart. That wraps that one up nicely. You know, I didn't <laughs> see it going this way. I wasn't prepared. Well, okay, we could discuss theories with the two of you. <laughs> I miss York. I'm still here. I was just doing a bit, y'all. York. <laughs> I was just lightening the situation. I thought the mood was a little dark. York learned what a joke was and now cannot contain himself. <laughs> it was pretty good, right? Yeah. I'm just happy to see you again, bud. Yeah, I missed you. I just went right around the corner. I, that wasn't even that far away. <laughs> but that's the furthest away we've been apart this whole night. Yeah. <laughs> that's true. It was hard. Difficult times. Um, Let's discuss theories. <laughs> <laughs> you, have, you all have some clues we can go over if you have questions you can ask me if there's someone you want to talk to uh, we can ask them though. should I like empty my pockets out uh, yes please you can hand them to me if you want I'll hold them if there is someone you want to ask questions of you know tread carefully they might be the murderer we've gained so much more information about the whole situation mm -hmm. some situation information mm -hmm. if you will that i feel like we were sort of going in with nothing mm -hmm. when we talked to lada mm -hmm. the first time mm -hmm. i think we could ask some more specific questions of her now yeah knowing what we know okay 
I'm a fan of that. Yeah, it turns out Lada withheld a lot of pertinent information yeah. that I'm a little frustrated about, frankly. A lot of info. She really didn't give us any info. Yeah. It, well, in her defense, she could, you know, her husband was just murdered. She, yeah. Yeah, why would you want to help out with that? Yeah. She, was, she seemed real sad. We were intimidated by her sadness, but now we are stronger people. We're hardened by time. Definitely... The saddest about the murder of a- of anyone we talk to. Yeah, that's true for sure. Yes. Let okay. Let's have Inna Officer Inna go retrieve uh, Lada from her room. Hello, everyone. Uh, do you have any uh, questions for me? I, I Inna said that you might have some questions for me. Yeah, there's there's a whole layer to this evening that we we didn't know about before. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, some pretty important stuff you uh, neglected to mention to us mm-hmm. about the people here at the party. You have to be careful who you give the information out to. I didn't want you to give it away to the wrong people if the people we're trying to take down have somehow gotten in. Oh, are we supposed to keep it a secret after we learned it? I feel like we've been talking about it to everyone. You yeah. yeah, we've been well, we've been talking to everyone who was on that that list. Yeah, they were oh. on the list. Okay. So that's, that's good, good, right? Yeah, that's yeah. Thank you. I I appreciate that. You still could have just told us this to start with and told us not to spread it around. We're only the detectives trying to solve your husband's murder. I didn't know if it would be pertinent to the case and like I said it, it's it's we're a secret group. We can't make our group known to everyone that would kind of defeat the purpose of our organization here. I guess that's fine. Well, anyway, we got more questions for you. Okay. Grandma's got more questions for you. Yeah. Grandma. Oh, we're calling you Grandma. Okay, your name is Grandma. Yeah, a lot has happened <laughs> a lot <laughs> over of... the course of the evening. Uh... A lot has <laughs> happened. G- uh, right? Yes. I learned how to do jokes. A lot of you. <laughs> I'm very proud of you. Thank you. York is... It turns out hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> I'm curious what your son Emery told you and Soren about his situation with the Rangers and his post being under investigation, potentially being shut down. Yes. He told us that his fort was being shut down and uh, we learned why. And he said that he needed some help securing a position in a new fort. But we don't believe in using our position in that way. Uh, We believe that in order to be good, well-rounded people, you need to earn those things. You can't go off the merits of someone else. You need to uh, find your own way in life. And we've given him help, obviously, as a child. We gave him the best education we could afford we gave him uh, plenty of chances uh, the best training but you know uh, adults adults have to make their own decisions as adults and did you tell him this stance before or after you received that ransom letter i now that uh bef- before Grandma's using that dog-like sniffer to sniff out the truth of this crime. I'll tell you that right now. Sniff, sniff, sniff. That's why Grandma's the brains. And the nose. Uh, no- another question. The um, can I see that um, uh, the the knife, the knife stuff that we got? I hand it all over. This uh, the knife bed, the knife's pajamas, and the knife itself. Yeah. We learned from Doctor Fontaine. Mm-hmm. that this is a and and I believe confirmed with uh with with Mr. Alasa mm-hmm. that uh this is a an old family heirloom a gift you were given a long time ago yes not super long ago i mean it, we we got it we got it before we had the kids but it's not like something that's been in the family for generations. It was right. No, it's it was a reward to you specifically yes, for yeah. for doing something to help the the person who uh, 
who gave it to you. But it never left this house. It was here. It started off here. Correct. Yes. Yeah. It was it was made and it was given to my husband and he brought it home and, and tucked it away. And did your children know about this? Oh, here it comes. The existence of this? Oh. Here it comes, Grandma. Oh. Lay it on her. I'm not sure. Uh, I certainly have never told my children this. Uh, Harper probably would have pawned it. Emery probably would have worn it forever. But it's possible that my husband showed one of them, or both of them, the knife. That's interesting. What was the nature of... Uh, you and Soren's relationship with uh, Jim Davis. Yeah, I was wondering that too. Because he wasn't on the list. Yeah, he's definitely one of the, like, the outlier of the attendants. Yeah. Uh, Chancy leans over to Lada. Uh, Jim Davis is uh, Avis. <laughs> Avis Smythe. Uh, and, and Ogilvy Smythe. Oh, yes. Um. What? Okay. Well, Avis was helping my husband on a case. Um, he was getting information uh, about his bosses, Jorgen, Jorgens and, and Borgens, uh, for their firm. We were trying to uh, take them down for, for money laundering and tax evasion and um, not paying their employees correctly. Uh, so Avis was one of uh, my husband's informants, I believe. How long had he been an informant? Was it just on this particular case? Well, the investigation's been going on for a couple of years. I think my husband was just about to press charges when they filed for bankruptcy, but uh, obviously I, I believe that case is going to continue just under someone else's uh, watch. And how well do you trust Avis as an informant? How well do I trust? I think Avis is, I I don't want to be mean to Avis. I think Avis is- No, it's is, okay. Okay. Yeah, we, we've been doing it all night. Yeah, yeah. we've been oh. mean to everyone, so bar's kind of low. Also, you're grieving, so you get like a pass to be mean yeah. to whoever you yeah, want. Fair. Grief pass. Hmm. Well, Avis is- a nervous fella. <laughs> yes. Is that you being mean? <laughs> I am trying not to be mean. I've never seen a person sweat through a solid mask before. It's yeah. impressive. A mask? <laughs> Sweating through a mask? Mm-hmm. Uh, Don't worry about it. Okay. <laughs> we can fill you in on that later. <laughs> Great. Um, uh, listen, if he's stolen a mask from this place and, and sweat through it, he should probably just have it at this point. I don't, I don't want that back. <laughs> yeah, you don't, you're probably not going to want that. What if someone hypothetically stole a mask but didn't like get any bodily fluids on it? <laughs> just asking hypothetically. <laughs> at this point, you know what? Take it. I don't. Did you take a, did you take masks? No, it was uh, hypothetical. Yeah, it was okay. just a hypothetical question, situation type thing. Don't worry about it. This hypothetical person is welcome to just take it. Whatever. Yes. I'm probably going to sell this house anyway. Do you own this house? Yeah, there's been a little rumor we heard about this house. I don't. I don't. But you were going to sell it? Anyway. <laughs> let's, let's, let's go. Let's, let's, let's retool that. Let's, let's, let's uh, go back to what you out. just said about selling it. How interesting. Well, this house belongs to the information network that I am a high member of, but not necessarily in charge of. So this house is entrusted to me. And if I were to tell the board that this house is compromised, we can sell it as a group and get a new location. Oh, interesting. So it would be up to me to sell it uh, for appearance's sake. You know, I, I would sell the house, quote unquote. And how, when did, when did you come into possession, air quotes, of this house with, with your information network? Does your information network have a name? Does it have like a cool name? Ooh, or is that secret? That's secret. I bet they're called something like the Shadow Vault. Ooh, yeah. the shadow I like vault. that. 
I like the shadow vault. Yes, it's the shadow vault. Oh my wow. god, I got it in How one. Did York no detective work. Am York. I part of the shadow vault? Whoa. Is it so secret I don't even know? The Shadow Vault mm-hmm. is also one of my favorite fantasy Olympic games. <laughs> <laughs> what was the actual question? What happened? When when did you when did when did the Shadow Vault uh pr- procure this <laughs> house for you? Ah uh, yes, the Shadow Vault. Let's see. I got it about around 30 years ago. It was Sorn and I had gotten together and just after we got married, Soren and I were contacted to see if we wanted to be part of this information network. So the plan was put into place that I would get the the house and that we would have it for appearances sake, but that it would kind of be the meeting place for the organization. And that was how long ago again? Sorry. 30-ish. 30-ish. And how old is Emery? 28. Okay. Okay, so that tracks. So they okay. so the kids grew up in this house. Yes. Thinking you owned the house? Yes. Okay. Okay. Were the kids invited to this party or did they just show up? Well, I told the children that something was happening that we had gotten letters. Um I had told Harper that uh, some some things were going down with the the house and the family and that She should take care of herself, take some extra caution. I told her that if she wanted to stay at the house for her protection, that she was welcome to for however long she needed. Uh, We told Emery, and Emery said that he could come out to help protect the house, which is is welcome. He is uh, a strong boy. (laughs) He sure is. Who you think did it? Who do I think did Or Oh. I'm talking to Lada. Yeah, Lada, who do you think did it? Who you think did it? You got any leads? I trust everyone in this house, or I, I thought I did. Mm. Um, that's why they were invited here, was to protect the family and the house and, the, and everything, but mm. I, I don't see how someone could get in unless you found clues that it, some stranger broke in, but I don't, I don't see how that's possible. No, I don't think it was a stranger. That'd be it uncompelling conclusion to this series yeah sweat nervously (laughs) um it was a rando all along (laughs) it was some guy off the street it was that dog walker from nathan's drawing (laughs) hashtag one dog guy it was one dog dog guy guy. (laughs) all along he did it he needed money for his one dog (laughs) (laughs) No. <laughs> Todd Walker, no. <laughs> All right, do we have anything else we need to ask Lada? Y'all got any more questions? So the last thing we know, or at least we believe Soren did before he got got, was go have a little private drink sesh with someone in the in the room where he got stabbed. Well, he wasn't having a drink with anyone. He was getting drinks for the kitchen staff, I believe, as a as a thank you. Oh. Yeah. He didn't go up with anyone. He was going up to bring it back down. For the kitchen staff, which yes. was so it would it would have been Okay, that checks out because there were three glasses, so one for one for him, one for Buzz, one for Don. Yes, Don Jovi. So he got the glasses, he got the liquor. Mm-hmm. but never made it back down. Is that all the questions you have for me? Do you want me to stick around? Um, I don't super want to be here if you're going to be talking uh, theories of how my husband was murdered, but if you need me to stay around, I, I can. No, you better you better skedaddle. If we need you for anything, we'll hit you up. We're about to talk mad shit for a while, so you better go. Yeah. Mad shit. Okay. I'm I'm going then. Good luck and uh thank you again for all of the things that you're doing. You're welcome. That's so nice of you. Aww. Yeah. And hey, ha- hang in there. I will. Thank you. I reach over and I pat her shoulder tenderly. Are you taking like I don't have any jewelry on me, so 
No. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, I'm out of here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's good. Never lets her guard down. It's a real pro. I was a thief. <laughs> I know. Yeah, we know that now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's let's wrap. Let's discuss. Okay. So, Grandma, it sounds like you have some theories. I don't know where everyone else is. Yeah, Grandma's really on top of this shit. We could maybe like run down the people here. Yeah. And 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 say which ones we think for sure ain't it. Okay. It's it's not Buzz. <laughs> <laughs> no matter what. It's not Buzz. I mean, think about it. Buzz can't reach. <laughs> <laughs> God is there. Yeah. York and, brings up a good point. Unless there was a, a stool. I didn't see a stool in the murder room. A good jumper, that man. And Buzz has no malice in his heart. Okay. Uh, if he was bringing the whiskey to Buzz and Don Jovi, then it's probably not Don Jovi either, right? They were, they were down in the kitchen. Although it does mean that they knew where he was. He could have wanted to surprise them. I'm not really going to lead you here, but I am going to throw in my two cents. No, you should do that. <laughs> he he popped jo Don Jovi. Didn't Don Jovi say that he like popped in to the kitchen to say he was coming back with some drinks for them, or is that not true? Was that true? I don't, I don't know. <sighs> that was so long ago. That was like know. ten hours ago, maybe. All right. Well, no, Jancy, your input is very uh, appreciated. We'll we'll take any. <laughs> yeah. So we're putting Don Jovi. Don Jovi's on the maybe list, but it's it's still a question of what, like why. Yeah, there's no motive. Yeah. Don mm. Jovi just wanted to cook with Buzz. Buzz just wants to cook in general. Yeah, they they want to. He cook. does have a knife on his body. Just right. a little sus. That wasn't the murder knife. But that's not the murder knife. I mean, yeah, but it means he knows how to use a knife for making. Delicious food. He wouldn't know where the other knife was, the family knife. And I mean, I think who who else we got? Falcone. She's too cool. <laughs> <laughs> and they were friends, and they, she had no no bad beef. She's part of this information network as well. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. What about Samantha Dragonfang? Samantha Dragonfang. Oh, Sam Ugg. Yeah. yeah. How do we get Dragon Fang? Well, she's like a dra she was based on a dragon <laughs> when Julia drew her. <laughs> Who's Julia? <laughs> Don't worry about it. It's orcish knowledge, orcish elder knowledge. It's been, it's been we've been up for too long. York is getting <laughs> delirious. <laughs> um okay. What about Sam Ugg? Sam Ugg, also part of the information network. Yeah, sketchy, but helpful, intentionally or not. Partially burned arrest record in the fireplace, possibly planted as like a red herring, and she has red hair. That would just that be would kind be of that would so just be meta. like fun, a fun, clever thing. If the red that's hair really person fun, was a red herring, uh, yeah. But also, she didn't seem to be too. Hesitant to to say that she was arrested at one point and now is like rehabilitated. Like I didn't seem like a big secret. I had to use my. Uh, <laughs> it was kind of a big ability secret, on but her. you had to use it to find out about the information network. Correct. Not about her criminal past doings. I believe what you did was that you just kept asking her if she was the person on the arrest report, and she kept saying no until she did, in fact, say that she was a criminal, just straight out. Yeah. It was a weird move. Yeah, I remember that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but yeah, so I don't, I don't think, it doesn't seem like she would have burnt her, like partially burnt her arrest record, yeah. make it like look like it was burnt, but leave enough of it that it clearly shows her face and name. I mean, maybe Soren burned the arrest record because Sam Mugg was working with them and he's like, no need for this anymore. It just seems like so obviously placed. It, it feels like it was meant to misdirect, but maybe maybe I'm over analyzing that. Could just be a coincidence. Could just be a coincidence. Mm -hmm. there, there are those. Okay, so who else do we have? Dr. Fontaine. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. no, no, again, too short. I liked her. Yeah, can't reach. 
You okay. can't reach. Then you have uh, Mr. Larmalasa. Marmalasa. I liked um, him. Malasa? <laughs> he seemed yeah. cool. Yeah, he okay. didn't seem cool. to have any interest in in murder. Yeah. He seemed friends. He was he was good friends with Soren, right? Yeah, they were good friends and I know we just talked to him, but like <laughs> <laughs> it's, and then he it's, gets body, you know. <laughs> it's late or early. Yeah, I don't actually know anymore. <laughs> how you time look at it, it is. <laughs> it's been a long night. E- e- yeah, it's felt like years. Okay. I mean, we we got Avis and Ogilvy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I, I mean, think there's some sus there. They're pretty sus, but I don't know. I like Ogilvy. <laughs> yeah, I don't know that Avis would do a murder with yeah. his son there. Yeah, that'd be kind of weird. And I just Mm. like Ogilvy. He reminds me of a little me. Yeah, that's pretty cute. I guess I I hope it's not them, but I'm not ruling them out yet. They're definitely sus, but maybe that's just their disposition and not because they committed a murder. Because it's like, if they're that nervous and and weird Mm. around us, like how good of a job could they have done at being an informant? on Jorgens and Borgens without also raising alarms in that regard. If there's anything I've learned tonight, it's that we are not intimidating. Is it possible that Jorgens and Borgens was using them, using him also to like feed false information? It could be, but I don't know how that gets sore and murdered at the end of it. A double agent. A double agent. And I don't think, honestly, Ogilvy would have been able to keep his mouth shut about it. Yeah. <laughs> I murdered. <laughs> yeah, I think he would be. <laughs> yeah, he'd be all about it. That's true. Uh, there's also the uh, how did they get here? Were they invited? Who invited them? Yeah, there's that whole weird thing. But I mean, Lada didn't seem too put off by them being here. That's true. Yeah, and if they had an ongoing sort of thing with. Soren, it makes sense they would show up sometimes, especially with the recent information about Jorgens and Borgens going bankrupt. Yeah. Mm. Maybe it was about that that they came. That's true. Mm. So then there's also um, an early contender that Grandma had written down, uh, Tina Crusher. Is that still a person on the list? No. <laughs> no, she's on the list. I still feel really bad about yeah, that. Right we walked gate. into her house and made her cry. I, like That's like, of all of the rude things I've done and said over the course of the evening, I am most sorry about that. I mean, I guess we know the least about her, but knowing what we know about everyone else, I, I wouldn't think she did it. Mm-hmm. And not to mention, that was Grindon that said that, not Grandma. You've changed. Yeah, I've changed a lot. I think that's beautiful. Okay, <laughs> so Tina's out. Um, there's also um, Harper. Yeah, Har- Harper Harper, and Emery are two. Yeah, we're yeah. left with the children now. Now we're pulling into Sustown Station. <laughs> Capital those two. I'm, I'm far, far more suspicious of, uh, of Emery than I am of, of Harper. Personally, Harper strikes me as a little uh, harmless in the grand scheme of things. I don't know. She doesn't seem like the murder type. No, and it, there wasn't a reason for her to no. murder. Yeah, it'd be weird for getting, her to murder. Getting money from the parents and to live her lavish thievery lifestyle. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just. Thinking about Harper, I'm just remembering that cloud that looked like a butt. Oh, yeah, Grandma. (laughs) Hell yeah. (laughs) Do you think that has anything to do with it? I think that was just a coincidence, too. (laughs) The butt cloud did it. Yeah, maybe the butt cloud did it. No, it's a cloud. It's too big. Maybe it provided enough of a distraction. (laughs) Yeah, Yeah, everyone was looking at the butt cloud while the murder was happening, and that's why no one noticed anyone (laughs) moving around. Yeah, that's probably what it was. I mean, I looked right at it for a good 10, 15 minutes. Yeah. Yeah. Didn't even blink. (laughs) That could be a factor. Julia painstakingly (laughs) drew these beautiful backgrounds in every scene and the one thing that we latch on to is a cloud that looks like a butt. I'm all about it. I mean, it makes sense. (laughs) 
very distracting. Yeah. Okay, so that leaves us with... So you've uh, canceled out Harper as a suspect? Uh, she's definitely not my first choice. I wouldn't even say she's in my top three. Okay, so who is your first choice then? Uh, for sure, Amory. Amory. I think, I think Amory, right? That dude wouldn't leg wrestle. Something's off with that guy. Yeah. It's like, if he didn't do this murder, it's it's not because, I don't, it's it's not because he's incapable of murder. He seems kind of like a sociopath. Yeah, a little bit. To be honest. And also, you know, he's maybe got motive, depending on yeah. how you look at it. Mm. Yeah, he has the most motive. That thing where just now Lada said that that uh, threat note came after they told Emery that they weren't going to help him get a new job. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. It's, there's also the issue of the missing Yeah, the yeah jewels. we never jewels. found those. I feel like perhaps the murderer still has those on their person. That'd be an odd thing to keep. I think it's either that or, or honestly Ogilvy's got them. Yeah. <laughs> Just because he found the, the case somewhere after the yeah. fact and took the jewels out. Jancy, do you have any intel on that? Uh, I mean, we can call. We can go see if Ogilvy has it. I'm sure we could do that just real fast if you wanted to. Could we get Inna to just pat everyone yeah, down? Yeah, did you guys try that yet? Mm -hmm. It seems like everyone was holding on to something very conveniently. <laughs> because no one saw... <laughs> No one saw the murder weapon just sort of get dropped and then and then picked up. Who picked it up? Larm picked it up? Larm had the knife. Buzz had the key. Yeah, Buzz had the key. Uh, mm -hmm. Who had the box? Falcon? Yeah, I guess I, I'm unclear on, because they were all in different places. So the person would have needed to be able to get to all those different rooms before everyone just got put into rooms. But also it would have started, where was this again? It was in the bedroom, right? The knife? Yeah, but the but Larm said he found the knife by the stairs, right? Yeah, by the stairs. Mm -hmm. I'm so impressed with everyone for remembering so much. Me too. I mean, it's <laughs> it seems likely to me that the murderer planted all the pieces of evidence in different places to, to throw us off the trail. But some people just picked stuff up and brought them to different rooms because someone didn't pat everyone down and we don't have forensics in this universe. <laughs> <laughs> we never saw Soren's body, right? We just saw the room with the little outline. Do you think he's still alive? <laughs> Grandma. <laughs> That's my that's my wild card theory that I was gonna present that this has all been a ruse, that Soren isn't really dead, that this is like some sort of honey pot to to suss out. To suss out who's sus. That'd be pretty wild because it also involves bringing in a third party and uncovering the information network to them, which I feel like is a weird move. It's the best explanation as to why no one seems upset except <laughs> Lada, and Lada is the like the most seasoned thief, so she could be acting. Yeah, what if this is just like a theme restaurant? That's that is that's that's <laughs> like there's not a ton of evidence for this one, but it is a theory that I have been like s stewing on because it is the best explanation for why no one is upset maybe they all put it on for our sake maybe <laughs> this so is cute. part of the internship and jancy called in a favor with a lot of people is jancy are you part of the shadow vault i'm going to say that i have grown very fond of you children as this night has gone on uh -huh. but not that fond not uh -huh. fond enough to hire many people to put on a show i would hope that if you liked us that much off the bat you wouldn't make a fake murder show. I would much prefer just going to Hucky He's. Yeah. yeah. We could go to Hucky He's after this. We're all yes. going out for pizza after this. I, it's just, you know, they got this threatening letter. Maybe they thought, okay, if we fake a, the death, then whoever sent it might might back off. I don't know. I don't know. That's it it's a it's it's a wild theory. I like the theory, but 
That's kind of a weird long con because yeah, they have to still figure out who did it before they have they can unpretend that he's dead. Yeah. And how would we help with that? <laughs> it doesn't seem likely, but it does. It is fun to think about. Isn't they it? bring us. They bring us in. We declare that the the murder is unsolvable, and and then <laughs> we're stupid. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Which would explain, you know, why they've got the B team here. Oh, yeah. I don't know. For such a high profile murder. You think they would have brought the A team cops? I thought Jancy was the A team. No, Jancy's part of the shadow vault. I know it. Look at that glint in her eye. <laughs> mm -hmm. That shadowy Love. glint. Shadow vault. Oops, she didn't say no. Shadow vault is life. She didn't deny it. Love it. <laughs> Jancy. <laughs> Y'all, I don't want to make you panic, but Jancy might be the high vizier of the Shadow Vault. Uh, Whoa. The, have, Jancy, do you own this house? I don't. <laughs> <laughs> How is that an idea that was proposed tonight? <laughs> Jancy, you should know our strategy right now is to put everyone on their back foot. Uh, now we're doing it to you. You fell right into our trap. Got you. What trap? What did I fall for? What did I expose here? What information have I given away? You expose that you got nothing to expose. Yep. Yeah. Just well, just imagine what you, you might have exposed if you had something me. to expose. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Grandma See, she gets it. it. She admits it. Done it. I have nothing to expose. Wow. Okay, so yeah, my my top two right now are Emery did it, or uh, this has all been a big. <laughs> and, and I don't have there's nothing conclusive for either of those those are just my two favorite okay so which one do you want to go with I want to find out where these m missing gems are I think I think that'll possibly it's such an odd loose end that we have yeah well it's either that uh, you, you know, the the murderer has the gems or they've fallen into a weird crevice or, <laughs> or someone, both. someone has stolen it. Are there weird crevices in this house? I, you know what I mean. The knife was found on the stairs. It's, uh, it's weird spots everywhere. They've fallen into a weird crevice is Jancy's way of saying someone stuck them up their butt. <laughs> <laughs> We got to pat down everyone's butts. Yeah. Don't. Have we checked? No. Inna, Inna seems like she could do that. Bring anyone into this hallway. I can check. <laughs> He'll never even notice. <laughs> <laughs> One of Rose's many abilities. <laughs> My money is on either that, as proposed, Ogilvy has stolen it. Or the murderer has it. Yeah. Well, we just want. Can we send Anna to go have everyone turn out their pockets and see who's got the gems? Are you saying we should talk to Ogilvy? Should we talk to Ogilvy? Is that what you want us to say instead of patting everyone down? I would much prefer specifically that. in the anal cavity. Perhaps. We'll start with Ogilvy, and if Ogilvy doesn't have it, then we check. Then, then we butt. go to Emery. Yeah. yeah, I like that strategy. <laughs> we check okay. Emery's butt. Yeah, we yeah. check Emery's Don't butt. Don't check Emery's butt, please. <laughs> you, you're the one who said crevice. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Ogilvy, hey. <laughs> my precious boy, I've missed you, <laughs> little buddy. Hey. He has chocolate stains around his mouth and he's just kind of vibrating. He's been <laughs> eating too much chocolate. Did you steal that chocolate? Yeah! Nice. <laughs> cool. <laughs> so what do you want? Did you, get, did you get the murderer? Excuse me? Did you, did you, did you, did you, did you get the murderer? <laughs> Here you go. God. We're still working on it, to be yeah. honest with you. But you could probably do. You, do you want to be a, a a helper and help us solve the big crime? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the criminal. Yeah, but the best criminals pretend to be the good guys to fool everyone. Yeah. Can I ask you something, Ogilvy, buddy, little pal? What? My little my little thief friend. I squat what? down to his level. What would you say is the most valuable thing you stole tonight? Because I bet I could one-up you. Oh, that's good. 
the hearts and minds of the people. <laughs> yep, he got mine. He got mine for sure. Damn it. <laughs> Get people on your side. I no, meant monetarily. I meant monetarily. Monetarily. You like cold hard cash, right? Mon. I mean, you get my friend rates for dog walking. That you know, it's gonna add up. Mon. Mon. What's worth the most money? Yeah. Oh. Uh, I stole some knives from the kitchen. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, this I don't know how much this mask costs, but it seems like a designer mask. I got one of those too. What else you got? Chocolate's gone. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. That's it. Man, you didn't find anything cool like gold or jewels or anything? No. Hmm. Should I have looked harder? Yeah, probably. There well, were some jewels and you missed them. What? Yeah. Yeah. And here's the real kicker. Someone got them and it wasn't yeah. us and it wasn't you. I know. I feel the same. I guess since we both got a mask, we're even at least. Huh. It's just too bad you didn't get those jewels. I'm going to find them. I'm going to steal them. <laughs> I'm going to steal them. Hey, hey, them. Listen, if you find them, let us know first. You can keep them, but just tell us. Yeah, you can have them. We just want to know because we got a score going, you and I, right? Right, I'm going. Kiddo? I'm right here. Hey. I'm going to steal the mask. I don't even know what he's saying. No, he's got you got him real worked up. He's on that chocolate. He's been up past his bedtime. He ate so much chocolate. Now he's real excited. He's gone. It's, it's been a, a long night. He's telling the truth, right, Jim Davis? Mm-hmm. You haven't seen any jewels either? No. No jewels. Jim Davis, while we got you here, can I ask you why you specifically chose to come to this house tonight of all nights? I, I, I was, I, I. We, we know about your you being an informant. We know about you being an informant. Don't be shy. For who? For, <laughs> we know you were ratting out Jorgens and Borgens to Sorrow. Oh, yes. Um, I, I was in, invited. No. Yes. Try again. I, I, I was invited. By whom? By whom? I'm not allowed to tell you. <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> we already know I'm, all the secret stuff. Yeah. Uh, I'm going... Uh, We're detectives. We've been here for hours. <laughs> I'm going to get in trouble. I uh, I was invited by uh, em Emery. Whoa. Emery? Oh. Yes. Why Emery? What? Why? What was the reason he gave What's you? What's going on here? He said there was a party going on, and and that I was welcome for the party. He just said it was a party. Mm -hmm. Was it not? <laughs> okay. Was, was it not? All right. Interesting. That's Interesting. that's actually that's this actually is, really helpful. That's soup, Avis. I didn't expect you to give the freaking coup de grace of evidence here, but you've done yeah. it. Yeah. Avis, my dude. You've earned your real name, Avis. Yeah. <laughs> I pat him on the back real hard. It's, so hard. It's so wet. For the first time <laughs> yeah. in my life. Oh, my glove. I have earned respect. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, I know what respect is. Yeah. Most people call me Jim Davis. There's no one. Three? I don't think anyone knows my name. Is I think Avis. it's only us three who yeah, say that. But I don't be. talk to many people. Yeah, we're the most people he's ever talked to. We're the majority of people in his life. Wow. Whoa. Well, let's let's keep in in touch, Avis. Yeah. Um, thank you. If you ever get a dog, let me know, or we can walk Ogilvy. Yeah, I just need to exercise Ogilvy and tire yeah, him out. He need he needs to run free. That yeah. would that. That would be nice, yes. Yeah, we got you. Thank you. All right, thank thanks you. for thank you. <laughs> thanks for telling us who invited you. All right, we got an Emery to why, talk wait, to. Wait, 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 one more question. <laughs> yes. Why did why did you why were you so hesitant to tell us that? Did Emery tell you not to mm. tell anyone? Did he threaten you? He told me not to tell anyone. You didn't think that was weird? 
uh, I don't. I scared of being in trouble. <laughs> okay, that's I thought, I thought it was a surprise for Soren. Well, it certainly was a surprise for Soren. Apparently, it was not the only surprise for Soren this evening. Not the biggest one by far. True. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you. I have to go. Uh, you take you you take it yeah. easy. I mean, I don't Fun. think you can go anywhere, but <laughs> yeah, you're... I'm going to lay down under the the table. Okay. Okay. <laughs> we'll cover for you. Remember, you're under the table though when you when you go to get up and don't bonk your head. Yeah. What? And then he hits his head. Oh. <laughs> huh. Wow. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. Let's, we got to get out of here. We got to talk to Emery. Yeah. Okay. So Emery is the person you want to talk to about. Uh, arresting? Is that what I'm hearing? I want to see if he has the the jewels. Yeah. yeah. And probably we are going to arrest him, too. But we'll get there. We'll feel it out. I warned him he was heading for arm jail. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we've warned multiple people that, but he is definitely the strongest contender. I know I said it a few times. If he had the gems up his butt, that would explain why he didn't want a leg rest. That yeah, would explain it. Yeah, because then they'd fall it. out. <laughs> yeah, he'd, he'd be squeezing too tight and shoot him out. <laughs> you you got to get him to leg wrestle. <laughs> An illegal move in leg backup. wrestling. I'll be your backup. All right, we got a plan. Let's go. <laughs> I hate that. Jancy, why aren't you saying anything? <laughs> I think we've cracked the case. What? <laughs> Let's get yep. talked. To Emphasis Emily. on crack. Hey. <laughs> All right. Hello. Hi. Do you have any more questions for me or? A request, maybe? A what? A request, yes. What would you like me to do? Uh, you want to show us what's in all your pockets and, and stuff? Not we just want to see what's in your pockets. Not really. Why would you need to see what's in my pockets? Because we're detectives. Yeah, we're detectives. We're investigating a murder. It's not just you. We're doing a full house pocket search. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, it's it's protocol. Everything mm. we're legally allowed to do. Probably. It's in the book. Yeah, a little it's... uncomfortable with that. Why? Well, what's in your pockets? That's for me to know. Is it something weird? It's not anything weird. If you're thinking feedy pics again, it is not feedy pics. I put Emery in arm jail. Oh, good <laughs> I God. pat him down. I pat him down so softly and thoroughly. Wow. What teamwork. <laughs> I just I just stand there in awe at you two's <laughs> quick action. Um, I warned you. I warned you, Emery. We said. We said. We asked we nicely. Said, we said it was coming. Uh, and in the pockets of Emery, you find. Oh. No. Wow. Emery, you dirty dog. I What? They were blue the whole time. These are, no. Can I, you explain? Well, are you going to let me out of arm jail? Why would I let you out of arm jail now? <laughs> you gotta explain first. A yeah. little uncomfortable in arm jail, I'll be real. Aw, uh, is, is it too tough for you, Emery? Is it hurting your <laughs> little bitty arms? <laughs> Yeah, Emery, is it hurting your little bitty arms? <laughs> I just, I, I'm uncomfortable. I've had a rough night, and you are making it worse. We've had a rough night. <laughs> You've had a rough night. My father is dead. Oh, yeah. And whose wonder. fault is that? Whose fault is that, Emery? Yeah. Where'd you get the jewels, Emery? Where'd they come from? That's my business. I mean, we know where they came from. This York, is kind of just squeeze them harder. <laughs> We're asking you as a formality. We know where they came from. <laughs> okay, so you know where they came from. So what? Uh, do we really end up in your pockets, genius? <laughs> <laughs> this guy's <I> really <laughs> took them. Okay, I'm going to level jail. with you. Uh, I'm not going to jail. You're already in jail. <laughs> Real jail <laughs> for murder. I. <laughs> took the gems from uh -huh. the knife that is uh -huh. true <laughs> and not necessarily mean that I that I stabbed my own dad all right when did you take the gems today yes today so you you had the knife 
You had yes. the knife in your that possession. That was the murder mm-hmm. weapon. On the night that your dad was stabbed with the knife that only you knew where it was. Yeah. And him. Uh huh. And you and you did lie to us about. And you, and you um, did lie about yeah. knowing about that knife. Jancy pulls out a, a little pocket watch from her pocket and puts it back in and says, "You children have timed this perfectly. The A team is here," and opens the door and in comes A team. What? <laughs> What? Oh, hello. They're so hot. They're really hot. What hey, is everyone? going on? We're A team. It That is A for extraction. A- Wait. Wait. We're here to extract Ac- the criminals. X- it's him, right? <laughs> it's definitely him. Yeah. Whoa! All right. <laughs> the A team proved it. We did it. <laughs> I was so scared we wouldn't. Wow. Shit. I, okay, yes, I stabbed my dad. (laughs) Rude. (laughs) Not funny, but it's very funny the way you said it. Well, it's just imagining what could possibly follow that up. (laughs) I just, I, have you heard about my fort? Yeah. Yes, Emery. It's all over the paper. Okay, you probably saw that we have a lot of gambling problems up there, and I might have been involved in it. But in my defense, I said that I had access to a lot of money and that I was going to gamble it, and I was going to earn money by gambling some of the money that my parents have. But my parents wouldn't give me any money for these gambling debts, and Mm -hmm. they, I accrued just a lot of debt, and my parents wouldn't help me with that. Mm. So I came here tonight after sending that ransom letter and they wouldn't fulfill it, came Mm -hmm. here to take things to pawn it Mm -hmm. so that I could pay off my gambling debts. My father caught me in the act, said that I hadn't earned these things. And who says that when their child is in that much trouble? Uh, so you killed responsible. it. You're a 28 so you, year old with a gambling yeah, problem. You're, you should have large, gotten help. A large adult. Yeah, child. you're a big adult, man. I mean, yeah. not as big as me, but yeah, not as big as York by far. That's why he still has you in arm prison. I guess your your gambling debts are going to matter less where you're going. I guess. I just always pictured that I would live the rest of my life rich. In Surrounded a, by feet pics. Surrounded by feet pics. Never pictured that once. But now you have. <laughs> it's it's on paper. We've got the... I've you've been it. thinking about it. I know. We got evidence. I swear yeah. to God, if you guys send me feety pics while I'm in jail... <laughs> Why do you call them feety pics? That's so affectionate. <laughs> we're not going to... We're, we're probably not going to send you anything while, while you're in jail. I might. Because <laughs> you, you asked. <laughs> 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 I just, it would have been so much easier if my parents just gave me what I needed to have a nice cushy life. But no, my parents kept going on and on about earning things. Does does my sister earn anything? No. Yeah, but I thought you were all about earning things. Yeah, does this guy hear himself? I I feel like I'm taking crazy pills. I kind of remember you saying, you know, condemning your sister's lifestyle and acting like you were better than that. Because she steals it. This wealth I was born into. It is rightfully mine. You literally mine. came here to steal stuff. You just said that. You got a pocket full of gems. They <laughs> drove yeah, we me caught to you. it. <laughs> they drove me to it. No. See, this is what this is what happens when you don't set up boundaries. Yeah, <laughs> your kids. We, we got to tell Avis about this. Yeah. yeah. We don't want another Emery on our hands. Mm-mm. Avis was supposed to take the fall for me. Well, you should have chosen someone. Who was less nervous? Yeah, and he was unintimidating. Too I yeah. thought his nervousness would be a sign that he had done a crime. I found it endearing. You're the one who told us that you you thought whoever killed your dad must have been strong. Yeah, your yeah. your own hubris telling on yourself, huh? You couldn't you couldn't just you couldn't just. Uh... You couldn't have said whoever killed my dad must have been really sweaty. That's why <laughs> yeah, he you, got away so slippery. You had to. <laughs> You had to brag. You had to be a big, boastful, 
braggy boy, huh? Because I never get credit for the things that I do. I well, have credit for the murder. You, you yeah. got credit for Congrats. the murder. <laughs> you did it, bud. Wow. Your mom's going to be devastated. She lost a, a, a husband and a son tonight. Well, she should have just given me what I needed. Wow, you don't even, you're not even a little bit remorseful either. Um, okay. A team. A team. Take him away. Uh, they do a somersault into the room and put <laughs> Emery onto their back and just go, pop, 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 Julie, are you going to draw that? <laughs> ah, shit. <laughs> it wasn't even us this time. <laughs> I done goofed myself. Yeah, I guess I am. Yay, it's going to look so cool. <laughs> yeah, I'm excited for that. Um, wow, they really they really did that. Oh my god. That guy he truly did it. was a piece of shit. Yeah, yeah. something yeah. about him wasn't right. Yeah, he was. Um We should have known as soon as he wouldn't leg wrestle. That's an indicator yeah. of something That's messed up. That's a sign up. of a Suspicious person who's hiding something. Something to hide. It, they were in his soul. pockets, I guess. Not the not the butt, but they still would have fallen, fallen out. out. They, they would have fallen, fallen out. out. Yep. Can we discuss that the A team thinks that they're the A team for extraction and not arrest? Yeah, I don't. Um, I guess. Well, you know, you <laughs> to each their own, I suppose. Yeah, you can't argue with people that look that cool. <laughs> well, should we? Um, should we tell Lada or should we just tell Pierce so he can break the news? Oh, uh, Pierce isn't going to break the news and tactfully. Yeah, I don't know who's going to do it better, him or us, but maybe us. Do you want to do it? We're tactful, I think. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Grandma, take the lead. What? <laughs> I feel like Grandma's the most tactful. Yeah, Grandma, you do it. We're gonna be. We're gonna stand back here. Oh, I'll no. be second. York, be quiet. <laughs> that seems fair. That seems oh, right. God. Okay. Okay. Uh, oh, she's so sad. I... Julia, you drew her so sad. <laughs> you can do this, Grandma. I just saw because I heard them come in. <laughs> They were very noisy. They were doing yeah, a lot loud. of somersaults. Not very sensitive. I heard if you ask the A team <laughs> no. arrived, and I saw them take away my son. Yeah, is that? Turns out the A was for Emery. Mm. <laughs> York, who said be quiet? Sorry. <laughs> so how how sure are you that he did it? He admitted it. Yeah. He admitted it. We caught him pretty red-handed at the end there. Yeah. And then he admitted and it. And then he did it. He did admit it and didn't um seem particularly sorry. Yeah, he just sounded kind of bitter. So he, sorry. Uh, it's yeah, you've you've had a rough night. I assume that the coming days are not gonna be less rough. So sorry. Uh, I hope maybe you and your daughter will will become closer as a result. Gotta gotta hold on to that that family tie you got. That's a a really nice way of looking at it, uh, Grandma. I think I think you're right. I think it's time I told both of them that um, we're not rich. That this is all just a, a front for an organization. I think. They never quite understood that, and that's because we never told them. Okay, well, I'm going to go find my daughter. Last time I heard, she was passed out in the backyard. Is that correct? Probably, yes. Yeah, under the butt cloud. Honestly, I don't know how much you've told her about your past life, but she'd, she'd probably think it's pretty cool that you used to be a thief. Yeah, I think you could really bond over that. That's a good point. She actually takes after you more than she knows. And you know what? There's a beautiful butt cloud outside. Yeah, that'll that'll cheer you. If uh, you look at that moon. butt cloud and don't smile even a little bit, you know, that's yeah, that's a good point. Well, thank you. I'm going to go talk to her. But yeah, I'm, again, very very sorry for for everything yeah. that's happened. To but you. also, you're welcome because and we also <laughs> solved yeah. it. Yeah, after thank you. Many grueling hours. Thank you for solving that. I, I appreciate all of the hard work you've done tonight. I know it's been a long night. I know this is probably your first case, but I appreciate you being here. 
I'm out of here. If y'all want right. to come to Hucky He's. Uh, yeah, I think we're going to go to Hucky He's after this if you want to join in. Yeah. But but also completely understand if you, you want some time. Open alone. invitation. But if you need a little pick me up, just. Yeah, if you, off it, the bat. It, you know, different people grieve in different ways. It's if an you, open you know, invitation. Yeah, you're, in, you're invited, but not uh, expected. You know, one of my first stealing gigs that I used to do as a child was. Uh, stealing tickets from Hucky He's. So maybe I maybe I will join you at some point tonight. Yeah. And steal some more tickets. Let's see how many ticket tickets we can steal. If you're up for it, yeah, definitely. Between you, you, uh, Harper, Rose, and uh and Ogilvy. Yeah. You've gotta... I thought we could rob the whole Hucky He's. <laughs> <laughs> Put them out of business. Yeah. I just take the prizes off the shelf. <laughs> <laughs> People if try they, to stop York, but he just walks through. Them. Yeah, if you can't stop him, is it you know, <laughs> is it really stealing or is it just taking? Okay, well, I'll find you at Hucky He's later tonight. Yeah. Okay. And we'll see where that leads us. And so she walked away. Well, children, good job. So did you? Did you just know from the newspaper that that he had the most motive? Yeah, I put together that because uh, I. I've known, you know, the, some of the people here. I've known uh, Lada a little bit and Soren, and I've heard tales about their son, and I've met him once or twice, and it's, I mean, it's, it was, it's him. He's, an, <laughs> he's a socio-idiot. Yep. So well. um, why don't we debrief in the office? How about yeah. that? Yeah. Yeah. Um, Ogilvy does run in and go, I got the jewels! Yeah. <laughs> yeah! All right. I got That's yours. my boy. There he is. I got it. Don't spend it all in one place. I'm gonna bring it to Dad. <laughs> and then he runs out of the room. So you guys all uh, go back over to Jancy's place. Wow, I feel like I haven't been here in so long. <laughs> Me neither. It feels kind of like a lifetime. <laughs> Children, I have to say, I didn't know. How I was going to feel about you in the beginning. We were kind of a ragtag hodgepodge of a group. But uh, you've really grown on me. I think you all deserve a shower, but I am going to pay you for your time working this case. Right, we get paid. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> Woo! I'm going to pay you all $30 an hour. Okay. Okay. I think you've deserved it. Uh, spend that however you like. I do request that you go home and uh, perhaps take a shower and take a nap. You've earned it. Uh, we're, we're going go, to we're going Hucky Hees. Hees. I, yeah. I feel like we were pretty clear. Are you That's not coming? Correct. I'll hop in the shower real quick, though. Yeah, I need just like a makeup wipe or something. Yeah. Some Febreze. Okay. Uh, we'll, meet, we'll meet you there. You're absolutely invited, Yeah. Jesse. We got to celebrate our first case. I'll be hurt if you don't come. You know what? I will be disappointed. Again, really devastatingly sad for that family. Yes, it's never, this job, not, it's not an easy or fun job, but it is one that brings solace to the family in some way. It allows them to move on. So you can take pride in that. Yeah. Um, and it gives you pizza money. And it gives you pizza money and gaming money, as it were. I got a few cases, but you know what? I'll tackle those. I'll start those tomorrow. Let's yeah. go to Hockey Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's go, children. With that, everyone goes to Hockey He's to uh, eat pizza. Can I inject some storytelling? Please do. At the Hockey He's, we go to the game where you shoot basketballs oh to my win God. tickets. And we all dunk. And we all we dunk. All dunk. <laughs> Yay. You subsequently, and it's beautiful. It is a beautiful dunk, but you subsequently break the machine and Jancy uh, does some sort of uh, detective uh, magicery and just uh, puts a uh, out of order sign on it and pretends yeah. like it's been broken the whole time for you. I do, I should say... That I, I did like working with all of you genuinely, and if you would like to work with me again, I, like I said, I have more cases. So if you want to work with yeah. me again, you're welcome. Yeah. To. I will contact you for the next one. But also, I, I am still interested in heading out east and opening a bookshop with you at, at some point if this detectiving thing 
doesn't work out, but we actually solved the case. So. Yeah, I completely so. understand if you want to move on to another role. No, that can I mean we actually be our backup plan. Yeah, we're on we a roll. Got a backup plan. The agency is always open. One hundred percent success rate so far. Yeah, yeah. that's pretty good. <laughs> Let's pretty put good. that on our business cards. Yeah. And with that and your beautiful dunk, Draw Detective Season One is over. Woo! Yay! We did it. We did it. We did it. There was no drawing in this episode, but that's okay. Who needs it? Who needs yeah, it? We had drama. <laughs> yeah, drama. Who needs drawing when you have drama? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Thanks everyone for for uh, wanting to, to do my my silly story idea. Julia, thank you for preparing everything and writing such a fun story. Yeah, it ruled. It was so much fun. I feel like I started this uh, a thousand years ago. Kind of. A lot has <laughs> happened since we started this, but I had a great time. Of all the people we met, I think Emery is the closest to a rhino just in terms of shape yeah. and size. Yeah, That's and true. So, Pierce wasn't completely wrong. Yeah. <laughs> he was just mostly wrong. Yeah. Just just almost completely wrong. Yeah, almost completely. Yeah. Well, again, thank you everyone for, uh, thank you you guys for, for playing along in my little game. And thank you to all the viewers and fans who have been sending in their theories on the the discord oh yeah. yeah and for everyone's fan art god that really makes my day every time someone sent me fan <laughs> it's art. so good it's yeah. so all good. so good <laughs> and i can excitedly say that we are planning a draw detective season two Woo! it's gonna be even better it's gonna be even better i've already started planning and drawing Wow. Julia, I remember years ago just like walking by your desk when you were designing these rooms and being like, what in the world is she making? <laughs> Where is she going with this? This is, it's been so cool to see yeah. all of the work you put into this. It's just like incredible. Well, thank you very much. Yeah, I drew all these in one in one batch. And <laughs> before we even started recording. The rooms, the character designs. It's all the, the story. What a time. What an adventure. A true delight. Wow. Yeah. Well, thank you. I'm, I'm glad everyone had fun. Thanks for putting up with how annoying our characters are. <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> that was our charm. It's called charm. It's yeah. called charm. It's called chemistry. I look forward to seeing if these characters return or if you guys make new characters in Draw Detective Season 2. Wow. Wow. See you there. Sorry. Sorry. Sorry.